Do you need to show off your Excel skills in a job interview? These days, more and more companies want to see how well you know Microsoft Copilot. If you're familiar with newest Excel tools, you can easily stand out from other candidates. In some interview, you might be asked to do a quick data analysis using Microsoft Excel and Copilot. This guide is here to help you walk through the Copilot to tackle tasks and discover how powerful and helpful it can be. You're presented with data on the left and five key steps that you need to complete here on the right. All we need to do now is to turn on Microsoft Copilot. Each one of five steps will be completed in individual tab. Step one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and get started. In step one, we need to generate data insights for forecasting using Copilot. Here's how we do it. Our prompt will be, summarize the content of select range, describe data types, and how it can be used for sales forecast. Here's our original Copilot query, and here's the information it generated. The selected range contains following columns, transaction ID, date, region, sales, satisfaction, and category. Here's the summary of data types and potential use for sales forecasting. And here it provides all the detailed information it generated. And then Copilot attempts to answer second part of the query, specifically how it can be used for sales forecasting. And this whole section describes just that. Isn't that impressive? What's also very cool is that Copilot gives you additional query you can ask. For example, get deeper analysis results using Python, or summarize total sales by region, or summarize average satisfaction by category. We're not going to ask them now because we follow certain steps. But if you're doing things at your own pace, it might be very useful. On our end, we're done with step one, so let's move to step two. In the first part of step two, we need to expand columns to make data visible. What we need to do here, we need to select the data, and then we need to apply Copilot query in selected range, expand columns to make them all visible. Copilot created a query which needs to be applied, so let's go ahead and apply it. And you see that the data now is visible and we can see it for all the columns. In the next step, we need to add borders to all cells. And here's the command for that. Apply black border to all cells in the range. Copilot correctly identified the range and all we need to do is click the button to apply. As you can see, it added the border to the outside of the range. Here's where manual work still might be necessary. So all we need to do is select the range again, click borders, and then click all borders. And it will add borders to all the cells in the range. In the next step, we need to format headers to center font and apply dark background and light font. Let's use the command for that. And the command would be bold and center align the header row, add a dark fill color, and change font color to light. Here's what Copilot generated and all we need to do is apply. And you can see that the header now is exactly as desired. In the last part of step two, we need to format sales amount as currency. And here's the command for that. Format the sales column as currency with zero decimal places. Copilot generated the script and all we need to do now is apply. And you can see that the column D sales was converted in currency values with the dollar sign. In step three, we need to focus on formatting and cleansing, and there are five sub-steps that we need to complete. Let's start with the first one. Highlight missing data using conditional formatting. All we need to do is highlight the data and issue the command. Apply conditional formatting to highlight missing values in the table. And once Excel processes the query, all we need to do is click apply. And you see three values highlighted in a different color using conditional formatting. Now we are ready for the next step. We need to fill out missing region values as north. And the command we will issue to accomplish this is very easy to understand. Replace missing values in region column with north. Let's see how Copilot helped us accomplish this task. It generated a formula. If C2 equals nothing, which in our case is true, for the cell C8, then replace it with north. Otherwise, keep the value of C2. So let's copy the formula and paste it into the cell C8. And you see that the new value of north just showed up in this cell. In the next step, we need to standardize regions column formatting. What does it mean? You see that some values here start with the upper letter, for example, value in C2, and some values, for example, in C4, start with the lowercase letter. And here's the command that will help us accomplish this task. Standardize values in region column to have consistent capitalization. So here's what Copilot did. It generated formula proper and it asks us to apply it to the whole column. This is how we do it. We'll create another column. 
Then we will copy the value from the header by using the copy feature and then paste it into the header of the new column. In the next step, we will copy the formula and then apply the formula to the cell D2. And then we will expand the value from D2 to the rest of the column. You see all the values in column D now have proper capitalization of the first letter. And now it's the good time to hide the column C. Are you ready for the next step? Let's fill missing sales using average of other values. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to select the values and apply the command. Replace missing sales values with the average of the column. Here's how Copilot suggests we do it. Fill in missing sales values by using average sales amount from the table when the original sales value is not number. And Copilot suggests we use the formula for that. And the formula is if the value is a number, then use the value E2. Otherwise, use the average for the entire column. Let's copy this formula and paste it into the cell E7. And you see that calculated value is 5000, which is the average for the entire column E. Isn't this cool? Now let's move on to the next step. Find and fix inconsistencies in product category column. If you visually look at the column G, you see that there is one big inconsistency here. We have different values represented by the full English word. For example, electronics, clothing, furniture, and etc. And one value in cell G9 is not a full English word. Let's see if Copilot will help us find it. As usual, we will select the values and use the following prompt. Check category columns to identify values with English letters only and highlight any other values, for example, numbers or special characters. Here's the formula Copilot suggests we use. We will copy the formula and then we will paste it into cell H2. Then we will expand it to test the values for entire column. And then you see that the value in H9 equals true, which means that something wrong was the value in G9. We can recognize that the value is pretty close to furniture. So what we're going to do, we'll copy the furniture from G8 and paste it into G9. And now we are ready for step four. Here we need to analyze the data, calculate average sales amount by region and determine which product category has the highest satisfaction. Let's try to do the sales average first. What's interesting, if you just select the data and issue a command, calculate the average sales for each region, Copilot will calculate the actual average sales for the region and provide you the formula how to do it for the south. But we are going to do a little known trick. We'll convert this data range into a table. And we do it by clicking insert and then table. And then since the region already highlighted, we'll just click OK here. And now we can issue a more advanced command. Group data in the table by region and calculate the average sales for each region. And now you can see that Copilot actually generated the chart for us. And in this chart, it calculated the average values for the west, south, and north. You can even add this chart into the new sheet. And here in the new sheet, you see specific values for the west, south, and north inside the pivot table, as well as the chart. In the next step, we need to determine which product category has the highest satisfaction. The cool thing about Copilot is that you can just copy this question and paste it into the Copilot window and see what happens. And you see that Copilot is smart enough to determine that highest satisfaction belongs to furniture, which has the value of 465. And it did it even with the missing value in the cell E9. And now we are ready for step five. Here we need to answer business questions. Let's reward the first one as which category has the highest sales? Here's Copilot's answer. Top category by sales is furniture with the amount of $24,800. Let's verify it. The way we're going to do it, we'll just filter category by furniture. And do the math. 8,000 plus 9,000 is 17. 17,000 plus 7,800 would be $24,800. So it looks like Copilot is correct. Now let's unfilter the data. And we're ready for the last step. And here we have the trickiest question of them all. Determine the region with highest sales in Q2. Do you see the dates column where we can calculate Q2? I don't, but if you look closely at column B, it's supposed to have dates, but it does not. Something went wrong with the conversion. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the values in column B and then change the formatting to date. To do it, we select the short date and let's see what happens. Now we have dates in the column B. 
And now we are ready to ask Copilot the final question. We need to determine the region with the highest sales in Q2. Well, as you can see, Copilot doesn't have an answer for us. And it tells us that I couldn't find sales data for the second quarter of 2024. If we look closely, Copilot is correct. The data here is only for Q1 of 2024. So let's ask a different question just to show the capability. Let's ask Copilot to determine the region with highest sales in January. And here it gave us the perfect answer. The region with highest sales is North with the amount of 11,500. Let's double check. We'll filter data by January. And then we can filter data by North. And if you add 5,000 and 6,500, you will get to $11,500. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.